one of the most influential human beings in history was among us during the 20th century. His works impacted the entire world and his services to the technological aspect of society advanced our ways of living. From photography to philanthropy, this genius contributed greatly in many fields. Edwin Herbert Land was the intellectual of the century. From Edwin Land's early years came the driving force that propelled him forward to instigate the massive company, Polaroid. During the early 1900s, Land learned the basics of polarizing light when he was young, and his love and passion for it amplified over his childhood years. Edwin's confidence in this field drove him to succeed for years to come. In 1926, Land left his college, Harvard, in order to pursue his passion to experiment to develop polarizing filters. Finally, in September 1928, Land successfully produced a plastic sheet polarizer. Edwin Land had filed his first application for his patent on the 26th of April in 1929. This was his first of 537 patents in his entire life. In 1932, Land and his physics professor at Harvard, George Wheelwright III, set up Land's first enterprise, the Land Wheelwright Laboratories. Wheelwright was fascinated with Land's work in the field of optics. Their main product was the sheet polarizer, and it was Land who had titled it Polaroid, for it was a synthetic material which could emulate the same responses as polarizing crystals. Land and Wheelwright fought hard to bring about the use of polarizing filters for reduction of headlight glare. But all great accomplishments began with small, less humble deeds. The first major contract that the Land Wheelwright Laboratories had stumbled across was on November 30th, 1934, with Eastman Kodak. It was for Kodak to begin the use of the filters, dubbed as poliscreens, in its photographical instruments. After a year, on November 5th, 1935, Land signed another contract with the American Optical Company to mass fabricate a new breed of glasses, the Polaroid Day Glasses. Finally, in 1937, the Land Wheelwright Laboratories evolved into the colossal Polaroid Corporation. Land's polarizing filter was incorporated into a large number of products, which included various lamps, windows, and car parts. Then, from 1939 through the early 1940s, Land, through Polaroid, simultaneously created a way to experience movies and pictures in a three-dimensional point of view. In the 1940s, during the time of World War II, Land and Polaroid were confronted with a new challenge to design more efficient military devices. Among the many new devices were the guided missile system, a machine gun simulation for training, a secure way for tank gunners to view the outside, and polarized goggles for Air Force pilots. While on vacation in Santa Fe in December 1943, Land and his family decided to take some photographs. Land's daughter, Jennifer, who was only three years of age at the time, complained about the fact that they had to wait so long to see the pictures. Edwin was then struck with the brilliant idea to create the instant camera. 
But there was one big difference between his life's work up until now and the new device he was about to create. The instant camera was not relevant to polarization. The new Polaroid Model 95 camera was on the market with big sales in 1948. Later, the camera evolved into better, more efficient ones as the years went on. Sales boomed and famous actors were paid to advertise the new product. Soon after, in 1951, the first instant x-ray film was created for radiographical purposes. Edwin Land had opened a new door into the field of photography and the world would never be the same again. However, in the middle of this photographical phenomenon aroused the Cold War and the many tensions that came with it. Edwin's career took another turn into an entirely different route. Around the spring of 1954, Land was appointed to President Dwight D. Eisenhower's Science Advisory Committee and headed the surveillance project for it. Eisenhower ordered for a way to take aerial reconnaissance pictures of the Soviet Union's missile technology. So in turn, Edwin's team of scientists and engineers designed the high-altitude, radar-proof Lockheed Martin U-2 spy plane, which was a success for many years to come. Later, Edwin Land invoked the creation of NASA through the proposed idea of space exploration. With his career back to the Polaroid Corporation, Edwin Land got to work on his latest development. The Polaroid Instant Camera soon developed into something extraordinary. On Friday, March 17, 1972, Land exhibited the new and improved Polaroid instant camera, the SX-70. The new SX-70 camera was capable of taking pictures with just a click of a button and handing it to you. Sales skyrocketed and the camera and its predecessors changed photography around the world. At least every household had a Land camera and the new idea was a big success. Almost all of Land's life was centered around inventing the impossible. He created a photographical phenomenon and led a global society into an era of prosperous technology. Without this man, the individual whose work was always priority to him, who always was persistent with his creations, who never let anything get him down, the world would be a much different place than it is today. Edwin Herbert Land was a key impacting individual in the vast history of the world.